Hello everybody, my name is Nephilim. welcome to The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD for the Wii U. Now, I am just the biggest fan of Zelda, uh, and I, I played Wind Waker back when it was on the GameCube. Okay, for a second there, that made his hair look white, I'm like, what? <laughs> That's a, that is actually a pretty cool effect. But anyway, I played this back on the GameCube and loved it. Uh, in fact, I've been playing uh, Legend of Zelda since Ocarina of Time. And I've played almost, if not beaten, every Zelda game at least once. Played, not beat all of them. I cannot beat Zelda 1 or 2 to save my life. But anyway, uh, we're about to get something here. But anyway, I wanted to do this because... You know what? No, hang on. No, no, no. We're, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. That's the, that's the opening legend. For those of you who have not seen or played this game before. But anyway, I want... Uh, my girlfriend wanted me to play this. Thought it would be a good idea. Because technically she's never seen me play a Zelda game before. She's she's had this I've, for as long as she's had the Wii U. I just haven't played it on the Wii U yet. So I figured, like, you know, might as well. Anyway, if you're new to the Zelda franchise, or just new to this particular game, or if you're a veteran like me just looking for some nostalgia, well then I hope you enjoy this. So, here we go. Let's get this started. I do not have a Wii U Pro Controller, or I would be using it, so let's just do the gamepad. Quest log. Okay. Put the name in. Now, I am torn here because I like to name the character Link. Because obviously that's who he is. But you know what? Yeah. Alright, for this one time. How much big of a name can I give? That's it. So this, for this one time, I'll name the character Alpha. Normal mode. Oh, there must be like a... What am I mean? There is but This is but one of the legends of which the people speak. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where golden power lay hidden. It was a prosperous land blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died and the hour of doom seemed at hand, A young boy, clad in, clothed in green, appeared as if from nowhere. With wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. This boy, who traveled through time to save the land, was known as the Hero of Time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then, a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. The people believed that the Hero of Time would again come to save them. But the Hero did not appear.
Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary to garb boys in green when they came of age. Clothed in the green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. The elders wished only for the youths to know courage like the hero of legend. Here we go! Oh. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh, wow. I remember how me... Big Brother! I remember how oh, cool this game looked when it first came out on the GameCube. But now, it looks even more amazing. And this... I and Unless I'm mistaken, this is about the only Zelda game where Link has uh, a little sister or any sibling whatsoever. In fact, very rarely does he ever have family. Occasionally he'll have an uncle or a grandfather, or in this case, a grandmother and a sister. Most of the time he's alone though. I knew you'd be here. <laughs> this is my favorite spot uh, to gaze out at the sea. When I play with the gulls, I call it Errol's Lookout. Errol? I, I never could get that pronunciation perfect. So, do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Of course! Every Zelda game starts with him waking up! Did you forget? Big Brother, it's your birthday! That's why Grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. Actually, no, now that I think about it, I think Link to the Past was the one to start that trend of the game starting with Link waking up. Or with someone waking up. It's a good thing I came to find you. We should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? Hurry up, big brother! Grandma is waiting for you back at the house, and I'm sure everyone else on the island wants to say hello to you, too. Of course, I am the birthday boy. Eh. Ah. Okay, so... This button here is going to be my Z target. You know, I think Hyrule Warriors was the first one to break the trend of showing Link waking up, because instead it showed Zelda. Hyrule Warriors was awesome. Talk to you. Uh, sorry, buddy, I can't see you through the grass. What's that? Today's your birthday? Well, c congrats, buddy. Hey, are you that old already? Wow, time just flies right by, doesn't it? You blink and poof, there goes a year. I s why I swear I just cut the grass in this field the other day, but look at how tall it's gotten already. I know I mean, the grass here just grows so fast. You walk inside for a get some drink, walk back out, pff, it's it's fully grown again. Say, do you want to try cutting it, Alpha? You'd be surprised at the things people drop in the grass. It's fun, like it's like a treasure hunt. Except you're gonna need eat some kind of grass cutting tool if you want to cut the grass. That's just common sense, buddy. Or maybe if I had a sword. I was about to say something. Now here's this kid. I can't remember your name. 
Hey, is it true that if you just have a little courage and run as fast as you can, then you can jump to that rock out there? Huh? Is it? Is it? Tell, tell me. Yes, it is. And you know what? There is one thing. I, I'm reminded of uh, Majora's Mask in the very opening sequence when you're jumping across those pestles. Well, Link, does, he does, Link doesn't just jump. He'll, he does those flips across. Which was so... I remember that was so awesome, but no other... I don't think any other game had that. And you never saw that anywhere else in the damn game. S sorry. Is that a bad word? I, I want to try to keep this one clean. I just saw a wild... A wild pig! Oh, see? Look! That black one there. Don't you see him? This is perfect. My wife was just telling me how she really wanted a pet. You ready to go grab it? It Now that... Now you can't ju uh, just run up on it. Pigs are too alert to their surroundings for you to just jog up and capture one. If you want to get close to one, you have to hold ZR to crouch until... Okay, so that's high crouch. You can also strike with bait, I guess. Sneaking through the grass. I also wish other ga Zelda games had this. In fact, I wish... I hope the new Zelda game coming out has something like this that lets... And has it... And actually... Has a feature where you can lay down GoPro and hide like this, and actually uses it to a much greater extent than this. Ah, yes, the pig. Hey, I'm trying to carry a pig here. Or, or. That's great. You're a smart one. You, my friend, have just targeted me. We. You see, when you press ZL, you can target certain objects. I, for one, use it quite often to talk to folks who are far away from me. Of course, even if there isn't anything around to target, you can press the place forward. You know, it's quite handy indeed. There are a myriad of other ways to use targeting as well. Quite an ingenious little thing, if I do say so myself. Of course, that's not the only trick in my bag. Not remotely. I can teach you a few more things if you'll just climb up that ladder over there and drop by my room. Thanks, but I am a Zelda veteran. Heh. Yeah, come here. I had it. Thanks to that old man. Uh, I pressed the button. I pressed the button. I swear this button doesn't work sometimes. By the way, whenever the new Zelda game comes out, whether it be for Wii U or whatever new console they're making, I do plan to play it. Now, what was I saying about these pigs? Ah, yes. Uh, after years of deadly chickens, I'm pretty sure most Zelda fans thought these pigs would be safe. But good God, don't ever attack these things. You will regret it. Now there's one more pig somewhere, and I'm get getting these things for a reason. Instead, let's talk to you, the prettiest girl on this island. Wow, she's actually prettier. Oh, ha Alpha, happy birthday. Hey, did your sister, her, Aurel, find you? She was supposed to tell you that your grandmother's looking for you. Speaking of your sister, she saw me at work the other day, and she said she wanted to learn to carry jars on her head like me. So she could help your grandma with chores. So if you see her, tell her that all she has to do is stand in front of a jar and press A to carry it. To put the jar down, she just has to press the R. Can you tell her that for me? Now I've always wondered how life could be sustained on such a small island with such a small population. I mean, everyone here must be related to some degree for, for that to be even remotely possible. In fact, there's always just so few people. When you really think about it, there's only so many NPCs in a Zelda game anywhere. And that's just... And, and of course, that's just with any given race. Like, how are they su sustained? That's like Skyloft. How, have the re how are the remnants of humanity and... 
from Skyward Sword able to survive on that small little island. That place wasn't very big. Why did you find these pigs and bring them here just for little old me? Ugh. Oh, friend cord. And yes, I did. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. I've been thinking of getting a pet pig for a while now. Oh, and the boys will be so happy when they get home. Okay, Alpha, hold out your hand. This is your reward. Don't spend it all in one place. And here's our gratitude for bringing us new family members. And finally, this is to congratulate you for working so hard on your birthday. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to me! I am now the richest person on this island. I suppose now I'll have to name these little oinking cuties. Also, like, what do people do here for a living? Where do they get their food? Ah. You see, that's okay. That's the problem when you try to overthink games. Like, so many things don't make sense, and stuff like that isn't supposed to make sense in this game. That's not what this game exists for. Oh, hang on, let me talk to you. Um, your grandma was calling for you, Alpha. And so was my mom. Okay. Yeah, I don't need to go talk to the old man, but I will do that later for... No, I'm going to do that right now for... A little thing. God, 17 minutes passed already? Just for a little joke. You're growing up, up, which means you're going to need as much wisdom as you can get from this point forward. And if you want to be wise, you must first know things. Now I was born before you, so I know all sorts of things. Yes, I've been studying all manner of topics for many years now. Now I can tell you're a smart lad. Lately I've been thinking it's time for me to pass some of my wisdom down, and I think you're the one I'm going to pass it down to. Count yourself lucky, lad. I think that you see tacked to the walls here is something that I've researched thoroughly. And before you ask, yes, I do know my filing system is odd. Organizational issues aside, however, it's all extremely useful information. You would do well to read it all very carefully. Reading leads to knowing, you know? Yeah! Such a racket! Can't you keep quiet? You've knocked everything off my shelves, you dreaded hooligan! Honestly, that hooligan I'm referring to is my younger and much less intelligent brother who j lives just downstairs. He hates studying. All day, every day, the lout just exercises and practices with his weapons. Does he exercise his brain? No. The brain's a muscle, too. I think. Anyway, the only thing he does study is the art of fighting. Right now, for instance, he's been studying fencing and whatnot, as if that's of use of any use to anyone. He simply doesn't know how to do anything besides exercise. I ask you, what's a brother to do? I don't know. These might go on for much longer. I'm going to go on for like 30 minutes at a time with these videos. With this series. There might be some editing as I go between places. Not now. Oh, I'm going, you're going to enjoy that with me. Alpha, Alpha, is that you? If I recall correctly today, you're the same age as the legendary hero. When did you get so old? Fun fact, I mean, I know he looks like young and cute and all, but technically he is, as according to the traditions, he is the same age as the Hero of Time from Ocarina of Time, which is of course referring to the older Link. While not an adult, he is 16 years old, so that Link is 16 years old. I actually did not make that connection until I read a fanfic about it. Like a full game ad fanfic adaptation. You must build strong muscles from now on. Strong muscles. You have come at the perfect moment. I was just trying my rolling attack. Allow me to teach it to you. I know how to roll, buddy. Are you ready? Blah, 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 blah. I know how to roll! 
such a right. Can't you keep quiet? You <laughs> blah blah blah. Ah, my brother upstairs is very high strong. His is the way of knowledge. He locks himself in his room and stays all day. He is quite wise, but with that big head of his, he is hardly accommodating. On top of it all, he is so very feeble. At times, I am ashamed to call him my brother. But enough of that, Alpha. Uh, I said the last time that beat you, man. But you need more than talent to make it in the world today. You must also be bold, and to that end, I shall teach you the art of swordplay. What say you? I already know how to fight. Let me show you what I can do. Yeah. Horizontal! Here, vertical slice. Let me fix something. There we go. Thrust. I am trying to keep thrusting. This has this. Is, Wind Waker has like a unique combat system compared to other Zelda games in that. Mid, you've still got your standard four swing combo, of like that's standard with the most 3D Zelda games. But if you you can move, actually move the stick in the middle of the combo to do different hits. That's something that no other Zelda game has had. Okay, right? You cannot give me a sword yet. Oh, you're gonna. If I did give you one, I'm certain your grandmother would be quite upset with me, and I do not need that. But if for any reason you feel you need more training, then come see me again. Yeah, I'm still just thinking about how this island could survive with just so few people. Ugh. I guess in a way it's good that I'm becoming more critical. I'm thinking more critically when it comes to games. But seriously, that w if I need to stop doing that just for this game. Because that's going to ruin it and I can't. Why is... I just really that's a low rule Triforce. Ah, oh, this music. Ah, oh, this familiar music. Ha, ah, go up the ladder. Ah, oh, there's Grandmama. I've been waiting for you, Alpha. Alpha, try these on. Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. You got the hero's clothes. They look like they m might be a little warm for this weather. It's like, do I have to? Don't, don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is a day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as the young hero spoken of in all la legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so you don't look so down. Be proud, child. And yet he never takes them off. In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about sword play. Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. Does this... does all this make sense to you? Yeah. Isn't that nice, Alpha? They fit you perfectly. A perfect fit. Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party, so I better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandmother's going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. Mmm! Yay! The soup! The soup! The soup! I just know you're looking forward to it. I am looking forward to when I can actually get the soup! Now go get your sister a real. I wonder if this game still has that little bonus thing, like... If you beat... In the original GameCube version, if you beat the game... You could start a, like a new something like a new game plus. You'd start off 
Ariel would have a different dress on. You'd start off with a pictograph box capable of full color. And you'd get these special invisible clothes that would pretty much let you run around in your PJs all day. Which is what he was wearing before putting this outfit on. What, which is interesting is that different people would have different things to say. Oh, and I just remembered you'd also be able to understand Ancient Hylian. Oh, it's Beetle's Boat Shop! Boat... Uh, it's Beetle's... Beetle's Boat Shop. If any, anyone who's played uh, Skyward Sword but not this, this is where he originally made his debut. The shopkeeper. Ah, hoy, big brother. Did Grandma make that outfit for you? But wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. Everyone always has something to say about Link's outfit, no matter what the game. I guess they're pretty neat, though. So anyway, Alpha, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand just for a second? I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! You got the telescope. This is your sister's most precious belonging. Treasure it dearly. Set it to Y, X, or R and use it by pressing whatever button you set it to. Do it now and see what you can see. He's using the gamepad. You can also touch and slide items to set them. So, well, do you like it? And then you borrow the special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> oh, why don't you try it out right now? Try looking at our house from over there. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Let me... Ah. I'm not gonna like this. There's the post office guy. So, supposedly their race is descended from the Zoras. Look up in the sky. There we go. I'm gonna have to change the, the options for this. There's the Helmerot King with the beautiful maiden. Still so cool. Now just turn around and look. Incoming! Conk! Right in the face. Oh, this is so terrible. That girl fell into the forest. She needs help. It's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you use to defend yourself with. You're right. But hang on. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it here. Er, for th those of you who've played this game before, you know what's coming up next. For those of you who don't, consider this a uh, cruel little cliffhanger. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And get ready for more. And as always, I will see you in the next episode. Later.